FNM's head coach Todd Caballero joining us here in the post game, falling 18-7 to a tough uh, York squad tonight. I mean, this was a buzzsaw. There's no doubt about it. But what do you take from a game like this, and what do you what do you tell your team? Well, I, I, I talked to him after the game, and uh, you know, we could look back on this in, in two ways at the end of the year, and I'll let them know how that how we look back on this game. But I think they exploited a lot of our weaknesses. Their faceoff guy and wing play was fantastic, and uh, we gave them a lot of extra opportunities. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I, I feel that their big players certainly stepped up and, and our big players need to uh, for us to win big games like that. Uh, but I thought, you know, uh, take my hat off to them because I thought overall they just played a, a really good game both ends of the field and exposed some of our weaknesses. So you guys were 6-0 and coming into the game. This is your first loss tonight. So after 6-0, and you know, the team gets a certain feeling. They feel about themselves a certain way. This has to be a little shock to the system, even though this was a quality opponent here. So how do you kind of massage that or manage that in a quick turnaround for tomorrow against another pretty good team? Right. Well, I think it is. We were six and zero going into this, so you know when you get when you get drummed pretty good. I think it's a gut check. It's a little bit right here at the heart, and uh, we'll find out what we're made of tomorrow. It could go one or two ways, and uh, we don't have a lot of time. It's less than twenty four hours to reset, regroup, and uh, hopefully we can have a much better effort at both ends of the field tomorrow. Any bright spots to take away from this game? I, th I thought uh, one of our defensemen played uh, really, really well. Number 22, Kyle Craig, was absolutely fantastic. I mentioned that in the locker room that, you know, we all need to bring uh, that heart, that energy, and that style across because he matched everything that York was given in that toughness aspect. I need everybody else to do the same. And I know you'll be interested to see the recovery of your team. In other words, the back-to-back. -back, you don't usually play back-to-back -back games. You may in the tournament. So you were telling me uh, earlier in the week that th this will be a good inkling it'll give you as to how your team can recover one after the other. Absolutely. I think one of the best things about the Mustang Classic with the 10 teams that are here that are all fantastic and it gives you that back-to-back -back opportunity like the NCAA. And I think if you're fortunate enough to get to that point, this gives you some valuable experience during the year when you get to those tough NCAA games. So we'll find out a lot about ourselves and how much we reset and bring that energy and focus within a 24-hour period. And we'll see Todd and his Franklin and Marshall team tomorrow night when they take on Stevenson at 8.20 p.m. We'll see you then. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. On GoMustangSports.tv.